In this week's Drone News Update, a Pilot Institute student saved two lives, two new DJI products, a FOIA request shows 100 US accident reports, and then our courses are on sale. Let's get to it. Your first news update this week is a Pilot Institute student who saved two lives, uh, Texas game warden Michael Hummert responded to two different search and rescue calls in Central Texas in less than 10 days. Um, as the only thermal drone in the county, Hummert led the deputies to the first missing person uh, who was in the restricted DOD airspace. And then just nine days later, uh, officials reached out requesting assistance in another missing person case. Uh, Hummert worked in conjunction with the federal officials that were again successful in ensuring that the person became safe. Uh, big shout out to Warden Hummert and then also to all the first responders. Thank you for what you do. Your second story this week is a new DJI Air unit and also a Mavic 3 multi-spectral. Uh, the O3 Plus has arrived into the Air unit platform and then the video is actually quite amazing. We had a chance to test it for a while. Uh, 1080p, 100 frames per second in the goggles, uh, 4K60 with rock steady recording in the camera. Uh, very much what you can do with the Avada right now, but on any drone. Uh, we've got to review it. You can check out the uh, video that we did where we tested the unit and uh, uh, put it into some torture test, I would say. So we'll put a link up here. Uh, also check out Drone Excel's article on the new air unit. There's a lot of good information there. Uh, also released this week, which was kind of a surprise, is the Mavic 3 multi-spectral, uh, signaling, I think, the true end of the Phantom lineup. Uh, the Mavic 3M, as we're gonna call it, it uses a, a micro four-third CMOS sensor. It has four additional sensors, uh, green, red, red edge, and then a near IR uh, to collect the data for for agriculture purposes. Each of the additional sensors is actually five megapixel, and then the main camera is still a 20 megapixel like you've seen before on other ones. As with the rest of the Mavic 3 Enterprise lineup, the Mavic 3M has an available SDK, RTK, and then also uses the, the DJI Pilot 2 app. Uh, for those of you that were waiting for the Phantom 5, I think uh, this is truly the end of it. It looks like this is gonna be it. Uh, this is the sixth Mavic 3 from DJI, and the fourth one this year alone. Uh, this is kind of uh, kind of crazy the, the pace at which they're doing this. Your third story this week is a FOIA request that showed 101 drone accident reports that were made to the FAA. An interesting note on those is that 25 of them pertain to near miss or a collision with a manned aircraft. Uh, eight of them were caused by a flyaway. Seven of them were caused by the wind. I know, kind of interesting there. Uh, four of them by low battery. And then three of them were where the aircraft was shot uh, by someone on the ground. Uh, many of these accidents were due to equipment malfunction. However, there is quite a few of them where people were just being that guy. One of these reports discussed a person flying a Mavic Air 2 by an unlicensed operator who decided to go inside during the flight, resulting in the drone uh, getting into low battery mode and then landing on a girl that was riding her bike uh, that resulted in lacerations that uh, to her face that required hospitalization. Uh, remember that these are only FAA reports, not the NTSB reports. The NTSB reporting requirements are actually a lot lower than the FAA requirements, which is really uh, $500 and damage, but the NTSB is a lot more picky. So the last story this week is a good one. Uh, this is our Black Friday sale going on today and it's going strong. Uh, all the courses in our catalog are currently available at the lowest price they will be. And, and, and I mean that, I, I really mean that. We don't really discount the courses more than that. Uh, our part one to seven course is $107 right now, not $107 off. Uh, also, you'll find our uh, real estate course available for $49, our photography videography for $75, and our drone mapping course uh, has been selling like hotcakes for $199. So uh, see the full list on our website. And uh, that's it. I hope you had a good turkey day. Uh, I know it's time for you to go back probably into a food coma for now, but we'll see you next week.